a prophetic word about God's judgments in 2021. My people. Peace is being taken from the earth. Mankind has pressed me for a war. They have done this through ongoing rebellion against my word. They have shoved me aside and embraced the doctrines of demons and sought to exalt themselves above all knowledge of me. They have made themselves gods and called me to the battlefield with their arrogance and alliance with Satan. They shall have their war, and they shall see and know that I will not tolerate anyone or anything that is set up as a god. Mankind, who made themselves gods, has challenged me. The days of mercy are drawing to a close. Beware, beware, beware that you are not counted among them. Beware, my people. Do not fall into their fate. Judgment comes quickly. Let the judgments you see coming, the persecution of my people by the nations of the world, drive you to my throne. Come in humility. Come in repentance. You will see my mercy and grace fall upon you as you come to me in these ways. Do not let me find the shadow of unforgiveness for anyone marking your heart. Stop trying to control the lives of others. Stop carrying anything with you that I will not allow in my kingdom. Every idol must be crushed. Every vanity must be cast down and destroyed. Every agreement with hateful mindsets and lofty opinions must cease. There can be nothing found in you that I will not allow in my kingdom. I continue to work in you as you remain surrendered to me. I take no pleasure in the evil thoughts or intentions of my people. I am separating those who are mine from those who only think they are, even though their lives do not reflect their declarations. The United States of America is falling. So are other nations around the world. If you are bound in the pride of life, in rebellion, you will fall with the nation. If you cry out to me and change your ways, I will protect you as I see fit to do so. I have said countless deaths are coming. More than the earth has known since the time of Noah. Do not sit on the throne and announce who died as a sinner and who as a saint. Be still about judging. Your judgment may be incorrect and you may cause someone to stumble because of it. I am bringing many of my own home through death, even as I am talking the lives of those in rebellion against me. The gavel of judgment is in my hand, not yours. Do not reach for it, or you will receive the sting of my rebuke. I have said the fire will fall like rain. Fiery trials are coming to my people. The tests will become more and more difficult, but if you remain in me, I will give you the grace you are going to need to be able to endure them. This is not a time for you to give up in discouragement. This is the time for you to turn to me with full purpose of heart and fully engage in what I have called you to do. Walk with me. Learn my ways. Love me above all, with your wholehearted obedience, and love others as well. Abide in my love for you. Put away childish things and attitudes and physical endeavors. Seek my kingdom first and foremost. Set your face like a flint and look to me only for your salvation. Hide my word in your heart like my son David did so that you do not sin against me. Bring this message to me for understanding about what and how it applies to you. Come in humility so that you may hear. I will speak to your heart and you will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Peace is leaving the earth and in many places and ways has already gone. The only true peace you will find can only be found in me. Seek me, 
for your peace, God.